what is going on youtube it's your boy spanko and today i'm excited because i'm actually going to be showing off some ground xeno combos that absolutely break dinosaur and i really want to show you guys how to play through hand traps how to full combo and how to do all these other different things but i do want to put a disclaimer out there that this video is going to be focused around combos where you're playing pure dino not the scrap dino variant the scrap variant has a lot more combos that are not going to be shown off in today's video but if you guys want to see the scrap variant stuff let me know in the comment section down below and i can do a combo video for that as well but there's so many combos that i want to show off in today's video i don't want to take up too much of you guys' time but if you guys haven't already make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu Gi Oh content just like this one we upload five days a week here on the channel deck profiles combo videos dual replays all of that good stuff plus we do a short every single day so you guys are going to see at least five videos a week because you guys get five shorts but you guys could get up to 10 videos a week if i'm posting videos like this one so you guys are getting a little bit of everything make sure you guys subscribe and with that i'm really excited to get into the combo so let's get right into them okay so for the first combo line keep in mind that all the combos i'm going to be showing you guys today are baby plus xeno there are some pretty insane combos but i'm going to be showing you guys different combos in different situations so for the first combo over here i'm pretty much just going to be showing you a combo assuming that your opponent has no hand traps and you can just go all out right so let's start things off by activating our ground xeno activating xeno effect to search our xeno meteoros and then uh, we're going to be able to pop the baby sarah and then we're going to be able to go baby Sarasaurus as our chain link one and then chain link two we're going to activate the xeno in our hand so that it can summon itself onto the field baby is now going to get the trigger to summon our ov raptor onto our field which is really nice because we still haven't used our normal summon which means we can now activate the ov raptor to search a baby Sarasaurus from our deck to our hand and like i said we have our normal summon here right so we're going to be able to normal summon our baby activate the ov effect to pop the baby so that we can summon the other baby that's in the graveyard and then this baby is now going to trigger to summon an Arcosaur from our deck directly onto our side of the field which now means Arcosaur effect is going to activate you're going to activate its effect to pop the baby Sarasaurus search a double evolution pill and then now that baby is popped we can summon another monster from our deck and we are going to go for the giant rex keep in mind in the combo when you summon the second baby you can technically summon petite pteranodon but uh we're just gonna go with baby just because it's the simplest thing to do here so now we have giant rex right and we also have a level six tuner monster and the best way to get giant rex into the graveyard of course is either linking it away or in this case we're going to be synchro summoning into our baron de floor using our xeno as well as our giant rex to make a baron and then what we're going to be able to do is make our Archosaur into a Link 1 Link Karibo. Use the Link Karibo to go into our Secure Gardener here. So now we have a non-Dino in the graveyard. And then we're going to be able to use our Double Evolution Pill to banish our Giant Rex and then banish our Link Karibo so that we can summon a Conductor from our deck onto our field. Giant Rex is now going to get the trigger, which is really nice here to summon itself from the Banish Zone, which is really nice. And you guys can see this is all off two cards. So if the other three cards in your hands are Hand Traps or other sorts of cards that are either going to protect your field, stop your opponent from making a field, etc, etc. That's where these combos gets nuts, right? So we still have a Rank 4 monster here to make. And the best one in this case, I would just say, is to make a Dolka. The reason for that is you have a Baron as an omni negate so you have a spell and trap negate you have two monster negates so that's three negates and you have conductor tyranno for a disruption so you have four disruptions over here and this is still very very powerful because you're going to be able to otk you have a card in secure gardener that you can pop off the ultimate conductor tyranno keep in mind you don't actually have to destroy a dino monster you just have to destroy one monster on the side of the field so you can pop that secure gardener and then this is enough for game on your next turn anyway so this is a just a two card combo with ground xeno and baby Okay, so in that last combo, I showed you guys how you can make this two card combo into a Dolka, Baron, and Conductor. But now let's just say our opponent has a hand trap. And one of the most prevalent hand traps in today's format is Droll and Lockbird. So Droll and Lockbird means that once we search our first time, we can't search again, which means the OV Raptor becomes a little bit harder. We can't search the baby to get the normal summon off. So how do we play around that? And there's actually a really cool combo that you guys can do that plays around Droll and still puts up a ton of disruptions, all right? So I'm gonna be showing you guys that combo here. It's the same thing, Ground Xeno plus Baby Sarasaurus. So we're gonna start off by activating our ground zero. And essentially this is gonna do the same thing. We're gonna search the Xeno here. We're gonna be able to pop the baby and then we're gonna be able to special summon our Xeno. Now at this point, because we've resolved the search, our opponent at this point can now activate Droll Lockward and we can no longer search from our deck to our hand anymore. So how do we actually play around that? Well, okay, so off this baby, instead of summoning an OV Raptor, what we're gonna do is we're actually going to summon another baby Sarasaurus. It could be Petite Pteranodon here as well, doesn't really matter, but baby or Petite. Then you're gonna activate the Xeno now, popping the baby on your side of the field to summon a Frostosaurus. Now, if you're playing the Megalosmasher 
X, you can summon Megalo Smasher here as well. But I like going the Frostosaurus route and I'll show you guys why later. But now you can activate your baby that was just popped to summon an OV Raptor onto your side of the field. Now OV Raptor can actually still use its effect under Droll because you don't have to add a card to your hand. You can send a card to the graveyard instead. And in this case, we're going to be sending our Miscellaneousaurus from our deck to the graveyard okay so we're gonna use this to send uh, to the graveyard and then we're gonna use miscellaneous effect because we have now two babies in the graveyard right so we're gonna use miscellaneous for two not for one but for two here and we're gonna banish one of the babies to summon either another baby or a petite pteranodon from our deck to our side of the field directly in this case let's just go petite pteranodon because we're gonna be summoning a level four or higher anyways now we have the oviraptor effect that we can use so we're gonna use the oviraptor effect pop the petite pteranodon here to summon the baby cerasaurus that's in our graveyard activate the petite pteranodon effect to now summon our giant rex from our deck directly onto our side of the field and now at this point we're locked into dino dragon worm sea serpents i think that's what we're locked into i don't think there's anything else because we use the xeno second effect but it's fine because we have a really powerful rank six monster in our evolves our solda and solda is really good into the costure matchup in general it's actually pretty good because what solda lets you do is that when your opponent special summons a monster you can actually detach a material from that card and pop that monster so my opponent Opponent goes summon Fenrir, activate, pop the Fenrir. My opponent goes summon Unicorn, activate, pop the Unicorn, right? Which is really, really powerful. So now we have two pops over here and we still have the rank four that we can make over here. So we're going to make the Doka or the Logia. Now you guys, depending on the matchup, can switch it up. So if you go Doka, you have two monster negates as well as two pops. But I actually think Logia might be a little bit better here because you have no spell or trap negation. So if my opponent has an Imperm or any form of spell or trap removal or getting their start like you know if your opponent has Kashta or Theosis or something like that again depending on the matchup that you're going up against you guys can make the better decision so if you guys go for Dolka you essentially have four disruptions if you guys go for Logia you have three disruptions but Logia at least is going to give you the spell and trap negation which is really powerful and then you have the baby Sarasaurus here that's just gonna be chilling which is kind of nice but this is under Droll and Lockbird because you guys can see we did not search a single other card so even through Droll and Lockbird we're still able to make three to four disruptions Okay, so now that I showed you guys a combo to play around Droll and Lockbird, I actually want to show you guys another combo where you can play around the Dimension Shifter, and it's still just a two-card combo, or 2.5, I should say. You need the Ground Xeno, you need the Oviraptor, and then you need any other Dino card in your hand. It doesn't really matter what it is. In this case, it's going to be Archosaur, it could be your Kaiju, it could be Pancratops, it could be Giant Rex. Giant Rex, honestly, would even be better, but if it wasn't, it doesn't matter. Any other Dino card, and we're not going to use a Baby here either, because we're going to be you know under shifter and whatnot right so in this case i actually i put shifter in my hand just to simulate our opponent activating shifter so let's just say now our opponent has activated shifter we're all under shifter or we're under macrocosmos or any kind of card that's going to banish cards from our hand or deck or field etc etc right so what we're going to do here is we're actually going to normal summon our ov raptor and again we're under shifter at this point we're going to activate the ov raptor effect and we're going to search a giant rex now one thing i will say actually is that you guys might be wondering oh but Svanko, what if someone doesn't shoot the shift after uh, you know, right in the standby phase. How do we know we're going up against Shifter? Well, if I activate my OV Raptor, I feel like a lot of the time, even at this point, my opponent might be like, okay, Shifter, kind of thing, because, you know, at this point, you know, they're, they know I'm playing against Dino. They know if they go Shifter, it might be a little bit troublesome for me, but there's actually a way to play around it, right? So here we're going to actually search our Giant Rex and we're going to add it to our hand here, okay? Keep in mind, we're under Shifter, we're under Macro, we're under Dimension Fissure, whatever it is, cards are not going to be going to the graveyard, right? So we're going to activate our Ground Zero and then Ground Zero here is going to actually search our Xeno Meteoros and we're actually going to pop the Giant Rex here instead because Giant Rex being banished means that now it can summon itself back out to the field and a Dino Monster was destroyed which means that we can use our Xeno to summon itself onto our side of the field. Giant Rex is also going to summon itself onto our side of the field and then what we're going to do here at this point we have three summons so just to be safe don't want to play into Nib or anything like that let's just go straight into Dolka here we're going to go into Dolka and then we're going to be able to activate the Xeno Meteoros to pop the Archosaur that's in our hand or any Dino that's in our hand so that's why this is a 2.5 card combo because you need to have another Dino in your hand and again it could be Baby it kind of sucks if it is babies but you know it could be babies as well it doesn't matter as long as it's a dino and then here instead of megalo smasher x because you're locked into dragons dinos and worms uh you there's you can't really go into baron so there's no point in going megalo smasher so frostosaurus is actually just the better one uh because now you can use these two to make your solda and you're ending on pretty much the same board here now you can go into doka so that you don't lose to nib if you're not afraid of nib then essentially what you can do here instead is that uh you can make logia so you end on logia solda as well but i actually like playing into Dolka because this board plays 
phase both through shifter and through nibiru and you're still ending on four disruptions here which is crazy okay so speaking of nib i actually want to show you guys a combo where your opponent can actually use nibiru and you can still play through in nibiru which is kind of insane if you think about it but now keep in mind this combo is going to use the scrap engine and uh we're not doing the scrap engine in today's video i wasn't focused on the scrap engine it was more or less pure dino but i really wanted to show off this combo specifically and big shout out to eva on twitter i'm going to put a link in the description also somewhere here on the screen because i saw this combo from her twitter account so for that reason i want to give a big shout out and i'm going to be using this as a segue to potentially if you guys want to see a scrap dino combo video let me know in the comment section down below but again this is more or less pure dino we are going to use a scrap monster for the sake of this combo and you guys don't mind the nibiru here the only reason nibiru is here is so that we can simulate our opponent having nibiru and using it on us all right so let's get right into it now i've been talking to for way too long we're going to go ground xeno effect and we're going to be able to search actually our frostosaurus here we're not going to search the xeno meteoros here and the reason for that is because in this combo specifically we're assuming our opponent opponent has Nibiru we know our opponent has Nibiru so for that reason we're actually going to play around it right so we're going to pop the baby Sarasaurus over here going to activate the baby Sarasaurus effect so that we can summon an Oviraptor and then we can do some typical dino stuff here we can activate the Oviraptor effect search a card from our deck to our hand in this case let's just search a petite Tyranodon doesn't really matter we're going to be summoning level four or higher off of this anyway so it could be petite could be baby doesn't change the combo up at all we're going to normally summon our petite Tyranodon and or our baby Sarasaurus activate our Oviraptor effect to pop it and then summon the other one from the graveyard and then this is going to trigger the petite here to summon a scrap raptor from our deck directly onto our side of the field we're also going to be using the scrap raptor effect here to pop the baby sarasaurus so that we can now summon a miscellaneous from our deck onto our side of the field and then at this point we've now committed five summons to the field now whether you go into scrap wyvern in here whatever whatever your opponent can now use nibiru so let's just say they now activate nibiru we have our whole board gone they summon nibiru we get token and then where can we go from here we are now nibbed we have no access to a summonable monster in our hand so now what we're going to do is actually going to be able to make a really cool play and so how we're going to do that is abusing the ground xeno effect here to make our transcendosaurus fusion guy i can't ever say the name so the transcendosaurus guy we're going to summon it and it has a really cool effect we're going to use its effect to add a card back from our graveyard to our hand and in this case we're actually going to add back the baby it could be the petite pteranodon as well but that's only because we still have access to misc in the graveyard which means we have access to Archosaur. So we're going to use this effect, summon an Archosaur from our deck, use the Archosaur effect to pop the baby over here so that we can now search a double evolution pill. And because baby was popped, we can now summon another monster from our deck and we are going to use our giant Rex over here. And this is where it's really cool because you guys can see we're still playing pretty heavily through Nibiru. So we're going to make a Link Karibo just so we can get a non-dino in the grave. Then we're going to make Cross Sheep using our giant Rex as well as our Link Karibo. And then we're going to use our double evolution pill over here to banish our giant Rex, banish the Link Karibo because we're assuming that we don't actually have Nib by the way. So don't mind the Nib in our hand that's just because we needed to simulate our opponent having it we don't have a nib here so this is a two card combo okay so we're going to summon the conduct tyranno under the cross sheep zone so this way we can use our uh, cross sheep as chain link one and then our giant rex is chain link two and then we're going to be able to summon our giant rex out and then cross sheep is now going to be able to summon any monster from our graveyard back now keep in mind okay so this is kind of where it differs if your opponent nibs you after you make scrap wyvern what you can do is summon scrap raptor back and then use raptor plus giant rex to go into a borrowed savage dragon in this case i just simulated where our opponent uses nib as soon as he could so for that reason we don't actually have access to a link to monster for a savage dragon so what you guys can just do instead here is make your oviraptor and then you can actually just use the oviraptor as well as the giant rex to make a dolka so now what you're ending on is a dolka with two negates and a conductor tyranno with a disruption so you're still ending on three disruptions through a nibiru and some pretty big bodies you can also use the cross sheep as uh your conductor fodder so you can book a moon all of your opponent's monsters right so this is a pretty crazy board if you ask me looking back on it honestly maybe you put this in attack position so your opponent can't just go battle phase into this because if they go battle phase into this it doesn't really matter as much but you don't want them to just destroy this you'd rather have the big body on board. all right maybe put this in attack position but regardless this is pretty crazy the fact that you can still do this through nibiru so that is it for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy i hope i got to show you guys and you guys can kind of see how this deck can play through jewel lockbird through nibiru how to full combo and how to just do so many different things with this deck now keep in mind there's probably so many more combos that we haven't even discussed yet i really wanted to focus on the ground xenos combo specifically i mean there's so many combos with ov misc ov baby arco baby and there's just so many different combos lost world as well in there so i don't want to show you guys all those 
I really wanted to focus around the ground Xeno stuff. If you guys want to see those other combos, it's already on the channel, so you guys can always check that out. But if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one. We upload five days a week here on the channel, but we could get up to 10 videos a week. We do deck profiles, combo videos, do replays, five shorts, a short every single day for you guys. So make sure you guys are subscribed. So thank you guys all for watching. I really do appreciate every single one of you. And with that, Spanko signing out. Oh, wait, one last thing. If you guys want to see the scrap variant, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll get that done for you. So with that, Spanko signing out.